to break, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. Sing it, church. There is power in the name of Jesus. We love you. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break, to break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. Come on. There is power. Somebody whisper his name Jesus this morning. Come on, just whisper the name Jesus. You know the Bible says, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father, whether there be things in heaven or on earth or under the earth. My God, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. Demons go to shriek, shrieking and backing up. The devil has to go at the name of Jesus. He's given you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and absolutely nothing shall by any means hurt you. Bless your people on this morning, God. Bless them beyond measure. Bless them coming in. Bless them going out. Every direction they turn, let the blessings of God come on their life and overtake them, I pray. Everything they put their hands on that's in line with the word of God, bless it, God. Bless them beyond their wildest dreams. Your word says, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. And all things whatsoever you shall ask for in prayer believing, Jesus said, you shall receive. We give you praise this morning, O God. We worship you. It's here, the book we've been waiting for, Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks to Us, a complete guide to hearing God. Pastor Sean Pinner gives readers life-changing keys on exploring, understanding, and experiencing the voice of God, which every believer can hear on a daily basis. Packed with powerful revelations, this book shares the methods, means, and motivations for the voice of God, and provide answers to questions like, how to hear God, recognize His voice, tap into His guidance, and much more. Receive confidence on hearing God through the Word, dreams and visions, divine impressions, and more. And discover a much deeper and more intimate walk with the Lord. Order Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks Today, available on Amazon and all major book suppliers. Your journey into the powerful realms of God's voice starts here. Pastor Sean Pinner invites you to two special meetings at Farmington, New Mexico. Get ready to be empowered with the preaching of the gospel and witness the miraculous healing power of God at the Journey Church, February 9, 2020 at 10 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. For more information, call 505-320-9190. See you there. Yeah, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Some of you are tuning into this broadcast this morning and your life is not right with God. Stay right in that flow. Your life is not right with God, but the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to teach the Word, but the Spirit of God wants to save souls right now. I surrender all. Listen, if you have not yet surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, it's time to make a clean break with sin. We must all stand before the judgment seat of Christ one day to receive rewards for the things we've done in this body, whether good or evil. Jesus is coming again, my friend. 
For the wages of sin is death, and the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. If you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus, I want you to pray with me right now before I go into this teaching on this morning. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of all of my sins. Wash me in your blood. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you died on Calvary Cross for me. You died. You were buried in a borrowed tomb. But on the third day, God raised you from the dead. You are now seated at God's right hand. And soon and very soon, you are coming again. Jesus, I receive you into my life as Lord and Savior from this day. I turn my back on the world, the flesh, and the devil to serve the true and living God and His Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul and writing my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. If you prayed that prayer and meant it, let me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, be the first to say to you, welcome into the kingdom of God and I want you to type below this video I've just surrendered my life to Jesus it's the greatest decision you could ever make in your life is to surrender your life to Jesus I did on January the 3rd 2 30 in the morning and my life has never been the same so on this morning right now, I want to get into the Word of God. God will grant your heart's desire. God will grant your heart's desire. I want to take you into the book of Psalm chapter 37. He will grant your heart's desire. My God, I love the Word. So Psalms 37 verse 1 says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. And the word fret is not the word fret you think like just worrying. No, no, no. That's not what the word fret right there means. It means don't allow yourself to become enraged and so angry that it totally throw you off and you do something stupid. So he says, don't fret yourself because of evildoers. Don't allow them to get to you to that point. <laughs> well, I mean, we had to deal with a situation lately. I started to, <laughs> my gosh, started to boil over. Come on, you know what I mean? You, you, get, you get angry at foolishness. You should. But the Bible says, be angry and sin not. We get into trouble when we become so angry that you sin. You do something stupid. Come on, talk back to me. But let's keep moving here. Now the Bible says, fret not yourself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Remember the Bible says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Look, you don't have to, you don't, don't take matters into your own hand. Now the Holy Ghost is talking to somebody. Do not do it. If you take matters into your own hands, you tie the hand of God. But if you turn it over to God, and you keep your hands tied, then God's hands is loose to work on your behalf. I'd much rather God fix it for me than me. Because if I fix it, it's going to break again and mess up. But if God fixes it, it's fixed. Got it? So, put it in God's hands. Now the Bible says, fret not yourself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Why? For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. God knows how to fix their business. Did you see what happened to Haman in the book of Esther? Haman was plotting to kill Mordecai and even set up a gallows for Mordecai. He hated him so bad. But Mordecai was of the seed of the Jews, loving God with all of his heart. And God turned the tables and Haman was hung on the very gallows he built. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. I think I'll go into the book of Esther next week. We'll start our series in the book of Esther. That's been in my heart. But anyways, so... They shall soon be cut down like the grass and with us the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be 
fed. God's going to take care of you. He's going to provide. But you got to do what's right. Listen to verse 4. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Oh, I love the word of God. That word delight means to become pliable in his hands. Let God do what he wants to do in your will, in, in your life. You got to say, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. When you yield to God's will and his way and not your own, he will give you the desires of your heart. Because the desires that's in your heart, the Holy Ghost is the one who plant those things there. Come on, somebody. Mean you were not born, saints. We had to surrender our life to Jesus and God changed us. He gave us a new nature. He pulled out that old man and put in a new man. The Bible says if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So when you surrender and say, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. God goes to working on your behalf. And this is one of the keys to overcoming the enemy. The Bible says in James chapter 4, verse 7, submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Submit means let God have his way in your life. And the Bible says, resist the devil and he'll flee from you. But you cannot resist the devil if you have not yet surrendered your life to God's plan and God's will and God's way and his direction for your life. Are you hearing me? When you submit to God, that's surrendering all and letting God take over the matter. And if you submit to God, then you can resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Oh, I'm preaching to somebody this morning. Watch this. Commit your way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lay not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your steps. You got to trust him. Keep walking with him. It's a one day at a time. You're not going to get there overnight. This is a journey. We talk about Joseph going from the pit to the palace. He was 17 years old. He was 17 years old when God gave him the dream. It was not fulfilled until he was at the age of 30. Are you hearing me? His brothers didn't even bow before him until he became 37. So he waited 20 years to see that thing come to pass. You got to wait on God. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and your judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself because of the man who prospers in his way. Because of the man who brings wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself in any wise to do evil, for evil doers shall be cut off. But those that wait on the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Isaiah 40 verse 30, 31 says, They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. My God, my God, isn't he awesome this morning? Isn't he awesome? He will give you your heart's desire. The Bible says, the desire of the righteous shall be granted. Praise God. Awesome God, how great thou art. Father, I join my faith with your people on this morning. Bless them. God, the desires, the things that you have placed in their hearts, that they have been waiting a long time for it to come to pass. Bring it to pass in their lives. It's that season, God. Bring it to pass. Do it for them. Make it happen, God. Give them favor. Bring the right people into their lives, the right partnerships. Bring direction. Bring clarity, God. We say, not our will, but let your will be done. Get glory out of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We stand in awe. Come on, sing with me. Of your holy name, Lord, we bow. Awesome God, sing it. Awesome God, how great you are. How great thou art. You are God. Mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow. And Lord, we 
bow and worship. Sing it with me, awesome God and awesome God. We love you. How great thou art. You are God. Mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity on this morning to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Support the work of the ministry. To do so, you can visit us online right now. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. Paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. That address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. The dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries. P.O. Box 2726 McKinney, Texas 75070. Me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we love you all so much. It's coming from me and my family. We don't take you for granted. And if you did not have an opportunity to subscribe to our YouTube channel, join our family. Click on that subscribe button and make sure to click on the gray bell. Turn the notifications on. That way, every time we upload a new morning broadcast, you would receive that notification. Every time we go live, which we do every Thursday night and Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, you would receive those notifications. We love all of you so much. God bless you. Take care now. Love you. Bye-bye.